Premier Comrade Mielenkov. Comrade Agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago, the United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Furons. The primary agent was this Furon, Cryptosporidium 137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what is being problem? The problem, Conte, is that Furons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And they've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium 138 into the White House. Then the American people are not noticing? Uh. <laughs> ah, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA, harvested from human brains by Orthopox 13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. Ooh. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a new cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon Mothership. Savages. Degenerates. There's only one way to deal with such men. Revolution. Can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mines, freaks. Destroyed, and I've been blown to smithereens. 
Luckily, I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some? I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay, so, where are the data cores? That's just it! They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. Oh, I knew it! I knew your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia! What's a data core? You never studied, did you? A data core is a device used for storing weapons or other Furon technology. The outer casing is extremely dense and should have easily survived the fall to Earth. The only real trick will be finding them. Well, I guess there's nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core.
you disappeared off base of... Oh. that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. These Chopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them! <laughs> Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orincho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. Idealists. They spit on them! Pleh! Stalin, he understood. Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jeez, Box, my head's still spinning. What the hell's going on around here? Why are those Ruskies gunning for us? Frankly, I'm more concerned with how the KGB managed such a successful twin strike. They're not usually so organized. We need to find them, Crypto, before they spring any more surprises. I should have known. The drugs, the alcohol, the loose chicks, the signs, they were all there. It's obvious those hippies were trying to lure me in, so I'd let my guard down. Nice try, hippies. But I'm not just any mindless hedonist. I'm the best! Don't worry, Pox. I've got this covered. I'll wipe out every one of those bastards for what they did to my guns, and you. Slow down, Crypto. I doubt hippies had much to do with ambushing you and destroying the mothership. Oh, damn. On the other hand, their brains don't provide much usable DNA anyway. So knock yourself out, if you're so inclined. Okay, so what? I just start knocking on doors and doing the slicing dice? You do not. The KGB are hardly likely to hang around if you just start indiscriminately blowing away humans. Yeah, well, I was just brainstorming. Well, stop. I've done a little research in the criminal files of the local constabulary. Apparently, there's one informant in Bay City who always knows what's going down on the streets. They call him the Freak. The Freak, huh? Yeah, I I've heard about him. Cat's got connections all over town. He's kind of a burnout, though. From what I hear, he doesn't even need drugs anymore. He lives in his own personal mental lava lamp. But if any of those stinky monkeys knows what the KGB are up to, I bet he does. Then I suggest you locate him and find out what he knows. All right, enough chit-chat. I'm off to find our little hippie friend, the Freak. Get eliminated. Call them all. Yes, sir. All units stand down. I hate going to the park lately. The freak is always there. He really creeps me out. <gasps> the freak promised me some of the primo stuff if I visit him on the hill later on. Kind of creepy, but I do love his fine Colombian. Uh. 
even wonder where the freak went. Probably up on the hill doing his mountaintop hermit routine. Weirdo. I am king of the lizards. Go ahead and laugh, Squares. In ten years, I'm gonna start a computer company in San Jose and own your asses. Is it the pigs? Hey there, uh, Moon Doggy. Uh, I'm looking for a dude with his ear to the street. The kids call him the Freak. You found him, but I'm all tapped out, man. The heat's coming down on me, you know. Try me next week. Freak, in all your drug-induced visions, I'm sure you've gained much, uh, wisdom. Hey, I'm just trying to find me Camino, man. No different from you. But I've fried my share of brain cells, that's for sure. Super. Which is why I seek your, uh, well, for lack of a better word, let's, uh, call it guidance. Right on, Seeker! What can I do you for? Uh, got any tips for dealing with the ladies? Patience, love, mutual respect. Those are the ways to earn a woman's heart. Are you serious? You sound like Gloria freaking Steinem. Whoa, now, I'm a liberated man. What's with the heavy vibe, mama? What? Oh, oh, crap, I forgot I'm a chick. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that I cannot clone myself. How do I live a long and healthy life? Sex, sex, and more sex, and if you can't be with the one you love, honey, love the one you're with! Wow, you really are wise. You're boring the love beads off of me here. Let's talk about something else. Well, what I need is information. What do you know about the Ivans in the cheap suits who crashed our party? You mean those KGB cats? Yeah, those dudes are straight, all right. They make Jack Lord look like Abby Hoffman. Only they didn't crash, man. They were invited. Who invited the KGB to uh, harsh our buzz? From what I hear, it was that cat who leads the commune. I don't know his real name, but he calls himself Coyote Bongwater, which is pretty righteous. Supposedly, he's like this master of tantric meditation and spiritual healing. All I know is Cat's got the chicks eaten out of his hookah. So he's catnip to Las Gadas, eh, amigo? For sure! All the chicks really dig him the most. Up to them, Coyote Bongwater'd be running that commune like a king, which he practically is anyway. Okay, you piqued my interest. Where do I find Coyote Bongwater? Well, from what I hear, he's kind of paranoid. He doesn't hang out at the park for long. I heard he's got a pad someplace, but I don't know where. What I do know is he's cutting into my livelihood. Dude's been handing out this new turn on a drink like in a in a can. He calls it Revelade. Ain't that a bitch? If you want him, that's your it. Find some Revelade and you'll probably find Coyote Bongwater. What's in this Revelade stuff? He claims it's like an all-natural elixir that enhances your cosmic awareness or something. Bonewater says it's the first shot in the global revolution against the man. Great. Great. Like the monkeys aren't revolting enough already. 
Thanks, Freak. I gotta go find Coyote Bongwater. I can't believe I just said that. Together. Cuckoo ka Joe. What's that? Oh! Houston just. What the? Is it the buzz? Bad trip, man. Shock report. I got your non violence right here, punk. <laughs> My mind says Humphrey, but my body says Bobby! What is it with the freaking tofu? If this Bongwater guy thinks he can buy my loyalty by handing out free samples of his homebrewed mind-altering substance on Ashbury Street, then he's right! It's all about the buzz, man! Green milkshakes. And next week, we'll start one-on-one -on -one Shakti tutoring. I'll be giving each of you private, hands-on instruction in Kriyanish Pati, the highest state of tantric arousal. These sessions can run 10 hours. So eat a good breakfast. <gasps> That's it for today. Remember, wherever you go, I'll be there. The shine in your Japan, the sparkle in your China. Bodhisattva, Bodhisattva. Ah! Goddamn flashbacks. Guess again, sunshine. Nice little setup. Guns, cheap Russian booze, teenage bra burning hippie chicks. Man after my own heart, if I had one. Join us! We're about to free the people of this city. Soon they'll see the truth and embrace our beautiful new utopia. The Bay City Super Organic Communal Collective and Compost Farm! Are you with us, man? Am I with you? Dude, you're bogarting the brain stems. I'm gonna have to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Kill me? Run along, comrade. My men can handle this. Pacifist. What a crook. Parameter breached. Get bong water out of here. Hurry! Firing! Bongwater is being in danger! Get him out of here! Now!
What's the bug? Little green toddler! <laughs> How's it hanging, freak? Uh, listen, I need a little more info. All right, but hurry it up, will ya? You're making me nervous. Hey, freak. You ever been to Capital City? Yes, I mean no. What would I be doing in a town full of squares and eh, politicians? And I ain't never been to Nom, neither. Here's the thing. I found Bongwater, but he got away before I could ice him. Whoa. I don't know, man. You didn't tell me you were gonna get violent. You didn't ask. Smart hippie. Okay, okay. Maybe I've heard some things. He's gone underground and come up with a new plan to distribute his revelade. Great. What's that wacko up to now? Get this. Somehow, he got his hands on a whole bunch of blimps. Blimps? What's he gonna do? Start a tire company? It's not what's on the outside, man. It's what's on the inside. Gas. He's gonna gas the whole city with revelade. Wow. That's so wild, it might just work. Well, I'll tell you this, Bongwater's been drinking his own Revelade if he thinks his scheme's gonna work. Whatever. Hey, you coming to Jade's party? What? No, I'm gonna blow up Bongwater's blimps full of Revelade, didn't you hear me? Easy, man, mellow out. What am I doing talking to this creep? Fox, we got a situation here. Bongwater must be drinking his own product. The freak says he's planning to fumigate Bay City with giant blimps full of Revelade gas. Great galaxies! That's so moronic, it just might work. So let's get flying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. Ah, oh, crap. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then, I kick a little monkey ass.
thy languid Furon god, zap my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arkvoodle. My waning cloud of is rekindled. Landing zone activated. No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. It appears the saucer took a hit. Or 12, on the way here. No, no, no. Don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, man.
Hey, does that belong to you? I didn't think so. Right on! Time to boogie! Come back here, you little... Just in time, Crypto! Bombwater has launched his blimps at the city! You must stop them from polluting the air with Revelade! Here we go, Crypto! The blimps have entered the city. Oh, it's on! I'll be monitoring the level of Revelade in the atmosphere. But you better destroy those blimps quickly, Crypto. Because if the Revelade level reaches 100% saturation, our base city brain farm will be turned into a useless den of unnoticed <laughs> degenerates sitting in front of their TV screens, twiddling their thumbs. <clears throat> Look alive, Crypto. Here comes another wave of those infernal blimps.
slow, man.
So, uh, you into politics? That President Huffman's doing a heck of a job, ain't he? Huffman? Are you high? America's become like one giant Orwellian nightmare! Thanks to lying corporate flunkies like him, human race would be better off if he'd never been born! Well, can't argue with that. Just tell me where Bongwater is so I can whack him and get back to making hot monkey love. When you're packing a new Ferrari, you don't want it gathering dust in the garage, you know what I'm saying? Not really. And Bongwater? What can I say, man? Nobody's seen the dude. Well, nobody's at Prudence, I guess. Who's Prudence? Uh, his insurance broker? Ah, dear Prudence. No, she's Bongwater's new protege. Kind of a revolutionista in training. <laughs> Anybody knows where Bongwater's at? It'd be Prudence. He sounds like a real firecracker. Maybe I should introduce myself. All right. I'm off to introduce myself to Prudence. See if I can convince her to give up bong water. Goddamn uniform, riding up the crotch again.
What exactly is so uncool about soap? Our commune at the park just got a lot foxier now that Prudence is there. Brothers and sisters, children of the revolution, this is the dawning of the age of aquariums. My name is Prudence Kane. Like me, many of you joined the American Liberation Front as a way of getting back at your rich, suburban parents for subjecting you to an adolescence of obscene luxury. Look, Princess, we ain't here for the opening act. Where's Coyote Bongwater? Sadly, our leader, Coyote Bongwater, cannot be with us today because he is setting in motion a grand design to transform this entire city into a countercultural utopia. Bay City is about to become one big, happy commune. Suck on that. All right, so what's Bongwater up to this time? So how can Coyote Bongwater possibly free the minds of a whole city the same way he freed our minds with Revelate? How did I know that was coming? Revelate? Oh, I heard that stuff will give you a limp linguini. Limp linguini? Wilts your vine, tames your tiger, chops down your magic beanstalk. What? A park full of potheads and you're telling me nobody here's ever had erectile dysfunction? Last time I open up to you people. Revelade sounds yummy to the tummy. So uh, where do I get me some? Those Revelade trucks could be a serious pain in my ass. And I haven't blown anything up for at least 10 minutes. Much like a figurative transforming robot, there's more to this than meets the eye. This Revelade isn't a coincidence. It's an attack! Take out those trucks immediately! Whoa!
this does. I look like you. into the fort. You must find another way in.
A good villain always has an underground lair. On a totally unrelated subject, I wonder where Coyote Bongwaters live in these days.
Agent Orenshoff, come in. Uh, I failed. You'll have to start the revolution without me. Yet. Yet? B but... This city is useless to us now. I mean, have you seen these people? They make the students in Prague look like a meeting of the Politburo. We shall destroy this degenerate city and return to the Soviet Union with the spacecraft fragments we have managed to retrieve. But what about freeing America from the tyranny of capitalist consumerism? Do not despair, comrade. The party will long remember your efforts to cripple your decadent nation. You shall not have died in vain. Or in your lot. But... no. No! I wanted to save America, not destroy it! Oh, man! What have I done? Uh, excuse me. Sometimes it's kinder just to put them down. That sound. Ah! 